Hello, I'm Mary Cruzwell with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. This week's Closing Bell is brought to you by Commodity and Ingredient Hedging, LLC. The annual video auction, the Corn Belt Classic, took place on Monday and Tuesday of this week. This is the first of several large video auctions to come throughout the summer and acts as a good first test to the feeder cattle and calf summer markets. Overall, the sale showed really strong demand, with five weight steers averaging $31 or 11% higher than year ago levels at $320 per hundred weight. Though volumes were down from year ago levels, there were still large volumes overall, with the majority of cattle traded being from the northern and southern plains. The sale did show noticeably fewer heifers being sold, particularly from the north, indicating that some retention may be happening. Overall, heifers made up about 31% of the sales, which is down compared to 35% last year and 41% in 2022 at this sale. In the north, heifers were only 26% of the cattle sold. The spread between the steer and heifers was also narrower in the north compared to last year, indicating good demand and normally is another sign of expansion. The south did still have heifers as 33% of sales which is down from year ago and below liquidation levels, but still indicates a slower retention rate. These higher prices and widely improved drought conditions should allow for more heifer retention through the year to help rebuild the cow herd. Still, these price levels may also encourage selling, especially with higher interest rates and the expected return to the La Nina weather pattern. A slower rebuild to the cow herd for this cattle cycle continues to be the expectation, and so far the data has supported that. If this sale is any indication of, if this sale is any indication, calf prices will likely remain high throughout the summer with strong demand and tighter available supply being supportive. Cheaper corn and hay prices and improved pasture, pasture conditions compared to, last, to the last few years should also allow for these elevated prices for calves and feeder cattle. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.